Hi everyone, it's Louise with Louise McCarrick. Welcome to our Thursday Night Rock and Pork collaboration. I'm in a hurry tonight because this is a long video, but I'll be followed by Lori Houston Art at 6.45 and Angela Bliss at 7 o'clock. Now let's get started. Hi everyone, it's Louise with Louise McCarrick Art. And welcome to my channel. And we have a tray in store today. So this is a smaller tray of the three sizes. This I think is the smallest. And I'm going to do a bloom blowout in it with the same color palette I've been using a lot lately. I've been getting a lot of mileage out of, and that is this blue palette that I first discovered my TLP sea glass on. I'll have all of the description about the paints below. And I'm gonna use my Berta to blow it out. I don't know if I'm gonna put the concentrator on or not. I guess I'll see as we go. And uh, I have it primed inside. I don't have it taped because I'm realizing that on the most recent ones I've done, I haven't needed to use tape. And uh, yeah, so let me get the pillow down and we'll get started with laying out the colors. So this is a long video. I'm on hyperspeed five times in this section. I'm just laying down the pillow and I'm stretching it out to the sides. Now people have asked me how much pillow I put down. I put down enough to get the blowout and then I add to it later. It's always easier to start with less and add more than to try to take some out. Let's start laying down our color. Okay, so this is my homemade Artez's Pearl Sky Blue with Golden's Thalo Green and some Golden Zinc White to lighten it. So I will interject here during a quiet part. I often do these longer videos for our Thursday Night Rock and Pour because it forces me to have to cut it down to 13 minutes. So you're getting a 45 minute video and 13 minutes here. Just getting the general outline. I want to use up all this paint. So I don't have much. I just want to work it out. So again, as I lay down the colors, I'm going to go to four times the speed again because you can see what I'm doing. And like I mentioned before, the colors will all be listed in the description. So what I'm going to do here is just put on some music and let the process happen. So here I'm just getting my cell activator ready by stirring it all up and getting it ready to lay down on the composition. And then I'll be back for regular time when I get ready to blow it out here. So I'm gonna start the blowout. I have my Berta on high and cool, and I'm gonna blow it out and I'm gonna get up close to show you guys how I do this. So I just start with one end and I blow it out and just try to stretch the composition to my liking as I go. Now, this blowout ended up not being my best one and I end up spending a lot of time during the rest of this video trying to get it in a kind of shape that I wanted to. But I do find that using this S design in laying out the paints works, in my opinion, the best for having the best outcome for composition when you do blow it out. So I'm just gonna put on some music and let this play through. This is all real time. For me personally, I'm gonna throw in here that I do better when pushing the paint forward than trying to backhand it back like this. That part of the blowout was a disaster to me. So, for me, going forward is always better. And you have to find what works for you too. All right. Need 
some triage over here. Let's try some white cell activator and then we'll not sure I'm liking this one. Need more color in here so let me add some color so that's a definite plus about fluid art is that if you something doesn't come out exactly the way you want it to you can always go back over it and embellish it or change it or redo it so my thinking is here since i don't have as, as much color as i want i'm just going to lay down the colors again in the same order and give it another blowout never done this before so we'll see how this is going to work and and select beer So because I was having trouble getting the cell activator to spread over the top of the paints, I decided to pull out the straw and have a more concentrated, narrower blow as I blew it out. Don't get the same shape because it's a very narrow stream of air versus blowing with your mouth or with the hairdryer. Wow, not what I was expecting. So let's start playing. Let's start stretching some of this color out because I'm not liking the way this is developing here. So in the areas where I don't have a lot of color, I just spread it out with a palette knife and put color in where I want it to go and still have it look like it flowed out naturally. So I'm just scooping and dragging here. some color all right I like the way that turned out I'll worry about the edges later I want to get the composition going how I want it to go so as I'm editing this video is still 27 minutes long. So I'm just simply going to cut out some portions where I do a lot of just little embellishing here and there. What you're going to see me doing is going into some good close-ups as we go, but I'm going to cut out some parts as well.
my negative space, no doubt about that. So for the next little bit, I'm going to be trying to just push the pillow to the corner. So I'm going to just skip through this as we go, but still show you some. Yeah, all I'm doing here is just taking the pillow and stretching it to the, to the corner here. So through here, I'm just using the straw to blow out the composition a little bit more. Now that I've got the sides all covered, I just want to stretch out the composition a little bit closer to the edges. Once again, I will be skipping ahead through here. I think I need a little Payne's gray in here. So let's put a little of the blue with some Payne's on it. Do what I just did before. Let's bring a little bit up, a little through there, through here. A little of the blue. A little of the sea glass and a little of the panes. So I'm going to go through here and I'm going to connect it down below here. Nice. I like that. So through here, I'm just trying to fatten up those little veins that I embellished with just a minute ago, just by taking the straw and trying to spread out those lines. Yeah, these colors don't work the same in this kind of setup. Interesting. but I'm not disliking it. I think I'm almost done. So everyone, I am going to call it finish. That is a wrap. And here are the final resin results. And in the end, I'm actually really happy with how this turned out. It has some really good cells, some really nice lacing. The colors are fantastic. And the composition is pretty good. So I hope you enjoyed the video with some of my close-ups as well. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Hit the bell and all, and you'll get all my latest art tutorials. Leave a comment. A thumbs up would be nice too. And we'll be heading over to Lori Houston Art next, and then we'll be followed up at the very end with Angela Bliss. Everybody take care now, and we'll see you next time. Thanks a lot.